Many health-conscious millennials are turning to a flexitarian diet. What is that, you ask? Well, it's a plant-based diet that includes protein but leans away from beef while not eliminating it altogether. Curious? Well, Phoebe Lupine is the author of In the Small Kitchen, and she joins us now to discuss flexitarian meals. Welcome, Phoebe. Great to have you Thank here. You. Hello. So tell us a little bit about your background. How did you discover the flexitarian diet? Um, so I kind of fell into the food space, um, mainly focusing on a blog that promoted cooking in small spaces with limited resources, um, be it time, space, money, or skill. Um, but I was actually diagnosed with an autoimmune disease a few years ago, and that really changed my perspective um, towards health. Right. And you know, one thing that's becoming increasingly more familiar to people is that plant-based diets are the way to go in terms of long-term health and disease prevention. Well, I think for, you know, so many of us have friends who are vegetarians, but this is an interesting sort of twist on it in that meat is not prohibited. It's just in smaller doses. Is that right? Exactly. I mean, I think people who choose to go vegan for moral reasons, you know, are um, propelled by something more than just health concerns. Sure. And if you do it just for health concerns, there's no reason why a vegan diet couldn't become just as unsustainable as any other fad diet. Right. So it's nice to not go all or nothing. Right. It. Now, just to be clear, neither of us are doctors, so we can't really talk on the exact health benefits of a flexitarian diet. And of course, anyone looking to change their diet should discuss it with their physician first. But what are some of the benefits that you've seen of the flexitarian diet? Um, well, there's been a recent study on blue zone populations, which are the longest living populations in the world. And they've found that one commonality is plant-based diets with just a little bit of animal protein thrown into the mix. Mm. Um, so I think that's a huge indicator for a lot of people. Right. Um, and I think it also, there's an environmental aspect, especially for millennials. I mean, we want the environment um, and the plant to be a beautiful place for our kids to grow up in one day. And um, livestock production is one of the worst things you can do for the environment. Yeah, so all good factors to consider. And now let's talk about how it tastes. And it's so wonderful <laughs> that you brought these beautiful three dishes with you. How, tell us about these three dishes, how hard they were to prepare, and is this something that's, you know, reasonable for the hardworking person to come home and make? Yeah, so I think um, being a part-time vegetarian is totally attainable. There's the Meatless Monday campaign, which has really shown people that, you know, small, really easy changes can have a huge impact. Mm -hmm. um, also, Mark Bittman's Vegan Before Six, I think, is a great program. Um, and so I've actually brought three... Um, packable lunches for you today because I think lunchtime is really, you know, a meal that you have full control of. There aren't a lot of people around the table. You can really brown bag whatever you choose. So tell us about the one closest to you first. Yes. So there are actually a lot of amazing supermarket meal alternative products now. Um, I brought with me a great brand, Gardein, that really has the taste and texture of um, pork, beef, chicken, whatever you fancy. Mm -hmm. And so these are BBQ pulled pork pockets and if you don't cook you can just pop them in the microwave or a toaster oven and enjoy with some greens um, and then this is a Moroccan red lentil soup um, lentils great plant-based protein and then we have some red quinoa salad with roasted vegetables and oh, I'm just gonna have to taste this. oh this yeah so good I just need a bite it is lunchtime <laughs> after all this is lunch break what is the cream in there um, so that's a tahini sauce that's and then on sauce. the side are the garden seven grain tenders mm. which have fooled my boyfriend on more than one occasion. Mm. He's not as enthusiastic a flexitarian as I am. Right, he's a, a slightly <laughs> less of a flexitarian. That's the beauty of the flexitarian, exactly. right? It's got a lot of flex in there. Um, so are you associated with the Gardein brand? Or are you working no, with No, I'm now? just enthusiastic. Okay. I mean, back in the day, you used to just be able to get you know, a veggie hot dog or a veggie burger. And right. I think it's great for people who aren't straight up vegan and yeah. still you know, want to enjoy things like chicken fingers and crab cakes. And you know, I realize I think I am just a flexitarian in general because I do like meat but a little bit of meat and not a lot and I love veggies so I think it's a, it's a great diet to adopt perfect thank you so much great thank you